it's Liz with oilyarmy.com and today I want to do a review of the fashion planner I dropped my phone the last one so I had to I mean I accidentally hit stop so hi everybody thanks for joining in I'm Liz with oilyarmy.com and today I am going to do a review thanks Holly um, of the passion planner because um, I was very late to jump on board with um, purchasing one of these so I wanted to kind of walk you through and tell you what I think about it so first things first passion planner it is beautiful it's um, the one I have is leather bound um, it's small so it's like the size of a small Bible <laughs> and I like it because it will fit in my purse but I'm just going to go like front to back and show you what what all it, it contains. So, first page it talks about how you'll benefit from the Passion Planner, how it's set up, and then <clears throat> gives you very detailed instructions on how to do this. I just got it a little while back, so I have not completed these pages yet, so they're still blank. So, basically these are, um, shows you how to do mind mapping, and um, this particular page shows you how to um, do your short-term and long-term goals and then this next one it's a more detailed mind mapping to help you isolate your um, you know your main goals and then work that you can do to achieve those goals so like this is one of their samples like this would be to get healthy and the things you would need to do in order to become healthy. So it just is a good way to help keep you focused and help you achieve your goals. So then we have an overview of the year. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to hold this. And then we have um, your month. So you look at your month. I'm actually gonna come over here to February. And you can plan out your month and of course you can use highlighters and then down here at the bottom you have personal projects work projects and then over here a place for um, it says place for infinite possibilities so I write down my 10 goals for the month here every month I'll write down um, my main goals for the month and then it gives you week breakdown by week and by the, the hour throughout the day. So I really, really, really am loving this. So you can plan out, you know, your entire week on paper. And then of course, having your personal to-do list, work to-do list, and then more, more places. So you could put, you know, some dreams that you have over here, ideas, um, you can jot things down. Um, you could journal down here. It's really, really, really cool. Um, and then up here you have this week's focus, good things that happened. Okay, and so then at the end of the month, let me come over here. At the end of the month, it has a place that asks you questions at the end of every month to um, reflect and see if you met your goals and how you, you know, um, how it differed from the month before, what your plans are for the next month. So you can just kind of reflect and see where you need to make corrections. So really, really cool. And then it has an end of the month checklist down here. So it's pretty much the same for the whole rest of the year. And then in the back, there are blank pages for journaling. There's also graph pages. Don't really know what I'm gonna do with those yet, but graphing pages. And then in the back, there's a little pocket here where you can put things. So, um, just a quick overview of the Passion Planner. Um, I love it. Um, I was just using like a really inexpensive calendar before I bought the Passion Planner, but um, it's really helped me to be more uh, purposeful with my time. And um, also the first few weeks that I was using it it just helped me to see where I was wasting time so anyway that's all I hope um, you found this beneficial um, learning about the passion planner and that's it thanks guys